life-changing events just like this all over the world that's raised uh, millions of dollars for the pediatric cancer research and funding. I have an amazing daughter that wants to help kids that she doesn't know that have cancer and how do you as a parent not want to do something like that with her? Are you going to cut your own hair or are you going to cut your mom's hair? We moved to a new school after she shaved her head last year and uh, um, a lot of kids made fun of her and uh, it didn't stop her. She wants to do it again. Third time I've done it, yeah. No, I'm not nervous. How are you feeling over here? I don't know where you Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Morgan's been waiting. She can't, she's excited to go outside and let the wind blow through her own hair. We hope to get a lot more kids involved and in helping. So we've been here every year uh, for the past six years. Closed down the salon. It's just kind of become our thing, I guess, the way we try to help out. Kind of hits your heartstrings a little bit when you see these little kids that just got their hair back and maybe shave it again or, you know, supporting the other kids. So hope other salons will step up and do something, find their thing to do. You know, this is kind of our thing since day one, it's been our thing. So if everybody did something a little bit in the community, I think it'd change a lot. Some of our patients are affected by cancer. They begin their journey in the ER and have some of their worst days in the ER. But probably this year, more importantly, it was one of our colleagues was affected and it was kind of a team building effort for us to help support our, our friend and colleague. Come on, Donna. <laughs> we had a raffle to see who could uh, shave my head. Donna won it. And like I said, Donna and I go back a long time. And so I wasn't sure quite what her motives were. Bob, how are you doing over here? So we'll stall gone. Doing awesome. Thanks for asking. We got a couple docs, we got a couple nurses, we got a couple administrative assistants, and uh, I think even a resident or two. So, really, it's a cross section of our department. And again, uh, to support an individual very close and near and dear to our hearts. So, I think it was an opportunity to you know, do something when there's sometimes not a lot you can do. It feels pretty good. It's been a while since my hair's been this short, but I'm sure I'll get used to it.